Johnny's Barn keeps rolling along. You know, I, I, I almost... I almost had a, a knee-jerk reaction to the Premier's press conference the other day, and I had the vet almost draw blood on Northern Blizzard and a number of other horses to come here. Uh, it didn't dawn on me that, that they would allow qualifying, but not racing. I don't want to talk about that, but uh, Northern Blizzard will be qualifying this week with a number of other horses. So let's get to Johnny's Barn. Really excited about what I've seen here. Arches Rainbow continues to train down, happy with her. Blue by Udeo, by all accounts, has been inhaling horses left, right, and center since getting the Mohawk. So super excited with her. Century Invictus has been fine, training well. Uh, interested to see how he's going to be when he sees the starting gate. Garden State Dio. Um, Garden State Dio made a break the other day, but kind of rare for the last little while for her. She's been very, very good leading up to it. Harlan L has been a, a couple, one or two little low points in Ontario. This guy's heading to Ohio immediately. This week, we'll have him over here. Kathy with an eyes. She's done until she's super healthy. When she's super healthy, she's going to go to the field and try and get over and kick the, the pneumonia that she had. It's the weirdest thing, but um, considering our track record with pneumonia, we were very lucky that she recovered the way she did. Mischievous Rose has been absolutely fantastic for Johnny. Uh, was great again at Mohawk on Saturday. Miss Mildred was great also. He told me he'd come 27 or 28 on the end of it with her with a bow in her neck. Very, very impressed with Miss Mildred. Northern Blizzard, 59. Last half, 57 and a piece or 58 and a piece with him. Uh, he'll qualify hopefully in 57 or 58 on, I don't know what day they qualify, Thursday or Friday. Resolute Bay. Uh, geez, Johnny's horse are going good. Resolute Bay. Uh, I've heard great things from him, how good he's been training. He's been in 2.5 or 2.6, I believe. Uh, Stonebridge Dolce even coming forward. 2.9, 2.10, couldn't go the other day. She was a little sick. They said she's training, trotting much better and moving forward. Ty went on, continues to train well again. This is Tipsy and Dixie's sister. Um, twinkle in her eye. Now, when she sees the gate, I suspect old Twinkle will come forward. Uh, she's been in 2.4, 2.5, something like that. And then Will Wind Hanover, the unfortunate part of the year. Only two horses that are going to miss qualifying right away. Uh, our girl, this was my number one pick of the whole year, ended up with a slight, very faint line in her foot. The prognosis is excellent. She'll recover 100%, but will need time. So uh, overall, Johnny's Barn looks very good. The Ontario horse is very interested in what I'm hearing out of Ontario and can't wait to see them come forward and qualify in the month of June. Be back in a minute with all the rest of the barn.